New reports out of the state of Arizona suggest that the attorney general of Arizona, who has been conducting a grand jury investigation into the fake electors that Donald Trump had for the 2020 election from Arizona. Uh, but recent developments, according to reports suggest that the attorney general is actually ready almost probably to bring criminal charges against these fake electors, possibly including criminal charges against members of the Trump campaign itself. Here's why obviously this is very important. This is very similar to what happened in the state of Georgia with all of those indictments. Um, obviously things in Georgia have taken a bit of a turn, a bit of a detour, if you will, uh, with all of these, you know, ridiculous allegations against Fonnie Willis, but in Arizona, we had the same thing essentially unfold. We had Republicans in the state legislature. We had the leader of the state Republican party. We had all of these individuals serving as fake electors doing what they could to help Donald Trump steal the votes from that state. So this is not unlike what happened in Georgia at all. And the attorney general has been conducting this investigation. Uh, actually the attorney general just issued a new spate of, uh, subpoenas to even more people. So the investigation is both in a weird way, heating up and kind of winding down. Because if you're starting at the point where you're ready to file criminal charges, then obviously most of the investigation is concluding and you're ready to move forward onto the next step, which of course is the actual prosecution. But these are Trump allies. It doesn't matter if it's the people in the campaign or just the fake electors themselves in the state. These are allies of the former president. These are the people that Donald Trump's campaign picked. These are the people they reached out to and worked with. Trump's lawyers were in the state helping to organize this. And we know that from Kenneth Chesbro. These are things that happened. And so far, nobody in Arizona has been held accountable for what they did. And we're almost, you know, three and a half years past that thing actually happening. You know, a lot gets lost. I, I feel like time is really flying by and I know a lot of people agree with me on that, but it's been three and a half years since these fake electors were picked. It's been three and a half years since Donald Trump launched his scheme to steal the 2020 election. I mean, technically what three years, five months, I guess really, but either way, there has not been enough accountability. We have not had enough people indicted. Hell, we've only had the people indicted really in Georgia. We've had a couple in Michigan. We've had others in Michigan accept plea deals. We had the settlement of the lawsuit with the fake electors in Wisconsin this week, which that is absolute BS that it had to be a lawsuit. They wouldn't even conduct a real criminal investigation, but more information has come out. We've seen the Chesbro emails. We know the extent of this scheme. We know that these people fully understood this was not legal. Most of them did. Some of them that accepted plea deals, obviously they were able to plead ignorance because they were the lowest people on that ladder and they were duped by the other folks. So hopefully in Arizona, we do see criminal charges very soon because this is not about retribution. It's not about screwing over Trump. It's about justice being delayed for nearly three and a half years. And it's time that the public finally gets some closure on what Trump did to try to steal the 2020 election.